Yo, how are we doing guys? Welcome to an Outbreak New Dawn video. On this I want to discuss some changes that we'd like to see and just some rel just some stuff about the game really. Don't forget this is a very very early alpha game so anything that I say could change. Anything that you see in the game probably is going to change because they're doing quite a lot of work on it. So yeah, anyway guys, let's get on with the video. So, first thing I wanted to talk about is uh, scope. So, the game's very heavy on third person. I only play for like first person servers, but how aiming is right now, third person is so more beneficial. And I'm going to show you why. Like, if we jump onto this SMG, yeah? So, this has got no scope on it whatsoever. Nice zoom. Easy to aim, yeah? We're going to jump in first person. So, I've got a holographic sight on my m4 basically is what it is i inside on the vector so zoom in zoom in you don't want this zoom in. like I, i've already spoke to one of the devs and said this is just a such a bad thing for first person and it really is like one scopes are completely irrelevant you, you don't need a scope because there's a guy here i can see him just as easy without the scope you know and then if you're in a building close quarters or something and you like say if there's a guy here or something you know 90 percent of the time you're not gonna aim in but like all right say it about this distance yeah you're gonna aim in i don't want to aim in that much you know if a guy comes here and a guy now jumps out of here and you know he rushes me i'm losing all of my vision i don't i really don't want to zoom in that much I don't know what, like, I've spoke to a couple of people in Discord about it. They all say they're not bothered because they play third person, so it's completely irrelevant to them. But I'm a person that plays first person only. Obviously, you see me get that kill in third person, but that's just because of this. That's why I was playing third person. I don't want to play third person. I don't like it. And this just makes first person horrible. Also, another thing with the zoom, as I said, it makes scopes completely irrelevant. Because it doesn't matter whether you've got the holographic sight the red dot, the ACOG scope, or the sniper scope, they all zoom in the exact same. Like, they all have the same range. There's binoculars in the game, and all these scopes in the game, and you don't need any of them just because of this zoom. So me going out, spending time, finding a good scope and stuff like that just gives me no advantage in a fight. And, you know what I mean? It's just, you don't need it. Like, when I, I'll carry something like this with a scope on, with my secondary... With like a like I'd like to have a red dot for this. Not not the red dot that they have in game. Like they have a red dot for a pistol. I'd like that for SMGs and assault rifles as well, me personally. So I could like rock that on this without the massive zoom. And then something like I'd reuse this with like say an ACOG scope, the tap fire in. And then obviously you'd have your vector for close quarters, but without this massive zoom. So devs, if you please see this. Please remove this zoom. It is so disgusting. It's horrible. Honestly, it's horrible. And it just makes other parts of your game completely irrelevant. That's just my... Theory. Like, that's m me anyway. Like, obviously, not everyone's going to feel the same. I don't... Well, I don't know. But most people that I've spoke to that only play first person don't like this zoom. So, yeah. Right, so the next part. The scopes. This, like, the holographic scope. If you look here, it's got this big chunky thing on the left-hand side. Like, why is that even on the... On the scope I, I i have no idea why i i even did a google search to search for a hollow site i looked on amazon ebay and stuff like that and i actually couldn't find a hollow site with this big chunk i think it's a laser i'm guessing it's a laser kind of looks like a laser but yeah i couldn't even find a hollow site with one of these on i i don't know why it's on it just takes up so much of your screen it just doesn't need to be there um the red dot has this big chunky laser or light or something on the left side of it. Again, doesn't need to be there. I'll put some screenshots up of me, like with them on and then me removing them. And then the red dot has a red dot and then this big circle around it. Again, just you don't need that. It's just complete. It's just horrible. Uh, the ACOG scope is, to be fair, it's fine. It's just way too big. It covers up so much of your screen. It is way too big. Um, and then the sniper scope. Well, to be fair, that's perfect. Don't change a thing on that. It's, it's absolutely fine. Size is fine. Scope's in fine. Everything like that. But then if you, like, again, if you remove this weird, weird, very, very weird zoom, you'd have your iron sights where there's no zoom in. 
Hollow site could be like a times two, your red dot could be times three, your echo could be times four, and then your sniper scope could be times eight. And then that's where you get your zoom from, like not from aiming down your eye in sight. And somehow your robotic eye manages to see super far. Like, I, I just don't understand that. But yeah, that, that's basically all I can say on the sights and the zooming and stuff like that. All right, so next part. So I've noticed these bushes and they're disappearing at a distance. These type of things shouldn't disappear at a distance. If someone gets in one of them to log out or climbs in one to go AFK for a few seconds, or there's one near a tree, I've got an example of that right now, and someone peeks that right side trying to get, you know, like a little angle on his opponent or just trying to see where he is, your opponent is going to win every time because he can see you. That tree's not there for him. This 100% this needs changing. Like, either remove the ones that are disappearing at a distance, either straight up remove them or make it so they don't disappear. Like, you can't have that. In, in a game like this, you can't have stuff that does that. You can't have objects that disappear at a range. It's just that you can't. All right, so one last thing that I'd like to talk about is the inventory system. So the one thing that I'd like to see here is, you know, on the left-hand side, this bottom row where your backpack is, if they just remove this bottom row completely and add two new buttons, and one button would be empty backpack into your bank, just so just call it empty backpack, the other button, empty inventory into the bank. So just empty inventory. You click one of them, boom, everything shoots over. Because after you, you know, you've got your 32 slot backpack full, you've got your nine slot box full or your 24 slot military bag full. It, you know, it can get a little bit um, time consuming, dragging everything over. It's a bit of effort. Same with, um, oh, that's a bug. They'll, they'll fix that soon. Same with this. Like, it'd be good if there was just a button here, like right at the top here. There was just empty container and it just emptied it all into your inventory if you had enough space. That'd be really good. Like, that'd be awesome. Like, I know they are doing updates. Like, they are improving stuff like before. You'd pick stuff up and it goes straight into your bag. Now you can pick stuff up and it goes straight here. Obviously, there's a there's a bug with it where stuff that's not shouldn't be able to go into them slots is... But um, obviously that'll get fixed soon. But yeah, just them two little buttons, well, two, three buttons would be really nice. All right, guys, so that's it. That's everything that I'd like to say, everything that I'd like to talk about. So to end this video on a positive note, I've been playing since day one of release, like on um, the 16th. And, you know, they're doing a lot of, like, they've done a lot of good work. They're doing, they, are, they are doing good updates. They've done a lot of quality, <coughs> quality of life updates that people have been asking for. You know, they're putting polls out and stuff like that, letting us decide how we want the game to work, how we want it all to play out and stuff like that. So it is really good. They're communicating pretty well. It'd be nice to get more, a little bit more communication from them. Just a bit more, like, not like, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, they've got stuff to do. So, yeah, the communication's all right. It'd be all right if we're a little bit better. But, yeah, they're doing, they're doing great. They are putting the work in. Every, like, honestly, everything's so much better than what it was on day one. So... Yeah, that's my video on Outbreak New Dawn, things that I'd like to see changed and stuff like that. My opinions, remember, please don't get, like, if you don't agree with a couple of things that I said, please don't jump in the comments like, oh my god, going off your head. These are my opinions. Everyone is entitled to their own opinions and all that good stuff. But anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video. Make sure to subscribe for future videos on Outbreak New Dawn. Soon as the next map comes out, I will be doing guides on all the missions, some gameplay you know, some um, PvP, stuff like that. So make sure to subscribe for future content on the game. Make sure to give the video a like, you know, get it up and out there. Drop a comment what you think I could do to make my videos better or any suggestions or anything you've got like that. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Peace out. Boom. Perfect.